SAP Business Objects Analysis, edition for Microsoft Office, is a Microsoft Office add-in that allows you to design workbook applications and perform multidimensional ad hoc analysis of OLAP data sources in Microsoft Excel. You can also create intuitive business intelligence presentations in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this tutorial, you will review the features in the Analysis Ribbon and Analysis Design Panel in Microsoft Excel 2007. Note that this tutorial is based on functionality available in SAP Business Objects Analysis, edition for Microsoft Office, version 1.0.6.909. To navigate, use the viewer controls. After you launch Analysis for Microsoft Excel, you click the Analysis tab to display the Analysis ribbon. Note that the name Advanced Analysis is shortened to Analysis in later versions of the product. The Analysis ribbon provides a variety of features, grouped into the functional areas of Data Source, Undo, Data Analysis, Display, Insert Component, Tools, Design Panel, and Settings. Use the Insert function to insert data into the worksheet. In Analysis, Edition for Microsoft Office, you can use SAP Business Explorer Queries, SAP NetWeaver Business Warehouse Info Providers, and SAP NetWeaver BW Query Views as data sources. You can connect directly to an SAP NetWeaver BW system, or you can connect via the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence Platform. Typically, you use the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence Platform to store and share workbooks in production environments. The data is displayed in a cross tab, which is initially determined by the default view of the data source. You can insert multiple cross tabs in a workbook, with data from different sources and systems. This tutorial focuses on data analysis using the analysis ribbon and design panel, but many data analysis steps can also be performed directly in the cross tab, using right click or drag and drop. Use the display feature to show or hide the analysis. Design Panel Using the Analysis Design Panel, you can analyze the data and change the view of the displayed data. The Analysis Design Panel includes tabs for Analysis, Information, and Components. On the Analysis tab, you see all the available fields for the data source, and which fields are currently used to display the data in the cross-tab columns and rows. Using right-click or drag and drop on the Analysis tab, you can easily add, remove, or reorder dimensions and measures to be displayed in the cross tab. The Analysis tab contains four sections and a find feature. The heading for the Field Explorer section is the name of the selected data source, so you can verify that you inserted the correct data source. This section displays all fields of the data source, including measures, dimensions, attributes and hierarchies. The Columns section contains all fields that are currently displayed as columns in the Cross tab. The Rows section contains all fields that are currently displayed as rows in the Cross tab. The Background Filter section contains all fields that are currently defined as background data filters. A background filter is a filter based on a field that is not currently displayed in the Cross tab. This background filter was added by dragging and dropping the electronic parts field onto the background filter section. Note that the cross tab data has changed, because this filter restricts the data displayed to orders for electronic parts only. Use the find feature to highlight matching fields found in the four sections on the analysis tab. On the information tab, you can choose to see detailed information about the entire workbook or a data source. You can also find information on filters and variables, on this tab. On the Components tab, you can see a list of all components used in the workbook, and the properties of these components. You can choose to list the components by data source or by sheet. You can also set options for selected components here. Back on the Analysis tab, the Country Field Flag representation in the Rows section has been replaced with the Country Hierarchy which groups the countries by region. This was done by dragging and dropping the country hierarchy, name PM country, from the field explorer, onto the country field in the rows section. When you work on the analysis tab, 
you should use the pause refresh feature to deactivate the automatic refresh of the cross tab, that normally occurs after each navigation step. With refresh paused, you can design a new view on your data, with multiple navigation steps, without waiting for the refresh at every step. Note that many features in the Analysis ribbon are disabled when Pause Refresh is selected. All navigation steps will be executed in the Cross tab at once, when you click Pause Refresh again to reactivate the refresh. Use the Refresh All feature to force a data refresh at any time, to get the most current data available. To continue with the remaining features in the Analysis ribbon, move to the Undo section. Use the Undo feature to undo the last analysis step. Use the Redo feature to redo the last analysis step that was undone. Next, move to the Data Analysis section. Use the Prompts feature to set values for data source prompts. Prompts are defined as variables in the BAX Query Designer. The variables are parameters of a BW query that serve as placeholders for members, hierarchies, hierarchy nodes formula elements or texts. After setting the prompt values, the cross tab is displayed according to those values. In this example, the prompts feature is disabled because the data source in this workbook does not include prompts. Use the filter feature to create a variety of different filter types to filter the data. In this example, the filter by member option was used to remove all the net value data from the cross tab. This filter is also indicated by the filter icon, next to Measures, in the Columns section on the Analysis tab. Use the Swap X Ease feature to easily transpose the current rows and columns in the Cross tab, if that provides a more useful view of the data. The swap is also apparent on the Analysis tab. Use the Swap X Ease feature again, to easily transpose the columns and rows back to the previous view of the data. Use the Hierarchy feature to set options for a Hierarchy field on the Cross tab. In this example, the Expand to Level option was used to expand the Country Hierarchy, to show the actual countries in the regions. Use the Sort feature to set options for sorting the data in a field in the Cross tab. In this example, the Sort Descending option was used on the Orders Sold field, without using the Break Hierarchies option. For comparison, in this example, the Break Hierarchies option was used with the Sort Descending option, to sort data in the Orders Sold field. Use the Calculations feature to insert calculations into the Cross tab. In this example, a calculation of rank number, based on the Open Orders field, was added to the Cross tab. Next, move to the Display section. Use the conditional formatting feature to highlight important values or unexpected results in your data. In this example, a conditional format was added to the orders sold field, after the country field was returned to a flat presentation in the cross tab. Use the members feature to set options for how the field member values are displayed in the cross tab. In this example, the key option was chosen for the distribution channel field to compare to the text option that was previously displayed. Use the Measures feature to set options for how the measure values are displayed in the Cross tab. In this example, the orders sold and open orders measures were set to display values with zero decimal places. Use the Totals feature to set options for how totals are displayed in the Cross tab. In this example, the Total Rows Above Members option was chosen so the overall result appears above the individual members that are included in the result. Next, move to the Insert Components section. Use the Chart feature to insert a dynamic chart into the worksheet. After the chart is inserted, you can position it using drag and drop. The data of the entire cross tab is visualized in the chart, and the chart is updated automatically when you change the display data in the cross tab. In this example, the chart was inserted after the distribution channel field and the open orders rank number calculation were removed from the cross tab. Use the info field feature to select an information field to insert into an empty cell on the worksheet. In this example, the data source name information field was selected to insert into cell D1. As a result, the name of the field was inserted into cell D1, 
and the value of the field was inserted into cell E1. Use this filter feature to insert a filter into an empty cell on the worksheet. This provides a filter that can be easily modified by the user, to change the view of the data. In this example, the country field was selected as a filter to insert into cell D2. You now click in cell E2 to make the filter icon visible, and then click the filter icon to select values to determine the filter. In this example, Canada and USA were chosen as the only countries to include, in the filter. This filter is also indicated on the Analysis tab. Next, move to the Settings section. Use the Settings feature to set options for User Settings and Support Settings. Use the Styles feature to import, export, create, modify, apply, or save style sets used to format the cross-tab cells. Use the Help feature to find information in the Analysis, Edition for Microsoft Office, User Guide. Finally, move to the Tools section. Use the Create Slide feature to launch Microsoft PowerPoint, to include this analysis in a slide for a presentation. Use the Convert to Formula feature to convert all cells of a cross-tab into formulas, in one step. This deletes the cross-tab object, and replaces it with a table where every cell is defined as a Microsoft Excel formula. The result values called from the data source with the formulas, are still displayed in the table. In formula mode, most of the analysis features are disabled. The formula of a selected cell is displayed in the formula bar, so you can edit the table using Microsoft Excel formatting and formula functions, and make further calculations using the existing data. You have successfully reviewed the features, in the Analysis Ribbon and Analysis Design Panel, in Microsoft Excel 2007. This is the end of the tutorial.